Welcome to a podcast from St. Mary's Adult Education Centre. Uh, this is our second podcast of uh, that will be on the website in a couple of weeks. Just a little history of St. Mary's Park. Uh, St. Mary's Park is a housing estate in Limerick, Ireland. The estate is located on the northern end of Kings Island in an area known locally as the Island Field. The area is located on the north of the historic and ancient city of Limerick, which is located in the English town, located on the southern half of Kings Island. The Island Field area was originally accessed from the walled English town in medieval times via a gate on the wall called Island Gate. The estate was completed in, uh, on August 19th in 1935, and actually uh, my grandfather and grandmother, who were from Parnell Street or up there, alongside the Butterboy Band, were actually offered one of the houses in St Mary's, and uh, then a house came up in prospect for them, and over being a member of uh, Josie Mara, being a member of the Borough Boys, he, he decided to uh, take the house in Prospect. So I could have been originally from down in St Mary's as well. We had a lot of relations that lived down here as well. Uh, the O'Briens and uh, I think the Murphys were across the bridge there for a while over by St Munchen's Church and they were all related to us. It is one of the oldest corporation states in Limerick and the first res- residents moved from the slums well, that's uh, not a, a very good word, of Ladies Lane, Parnell Street and Palmerstown areas of Limerick City. Now, the c- Cathedral of St Mary, the Blessed Virgin, was, has a, had a long and eventful history. It was founded in 1168 on the site of a palace donated by Donald Moore O'Brien, who was King of Munster. Experts believe that parts of the palace were incorporated into the present structure of the cathedral, and the most prominent is the west door, which Tradition has it was the main entrance to the palace, and the palace had been built on the site of the Viking meeting house. Uh, there's a big history of, uh, spe- especially Viking history in, in Limerick. Uh, I think there's more in Watford, uh, Wexford, Dublin, and I think Galway. I'm not sure about that, but uh, Limerick is one of the high, uh, medieval Viking, uh, Viking city. Uh, the cathedral has seen many changes in the city, expanded around, and it re- remains today the oldest and most historic building in Limerick. Sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied here. No trip to Limerick City is complete without visiting the historic building at the very heart of the ancient metropolis. Now we go to King John's Castle. On this site, uh, which the castle stands, has been occupied for over a, a thousand years. A number of houses believed to be in Viking origin were unearthed during earlier restorations of the castle. Elements of these dwellings and some artefacts found on the site can be seen at King John's Castle the Visitors Centre there. If you're ever interested uh, or from outside the Limerick area, why not call down only the places surrounded in history, St Mary's Park and uh, the surrounding areas, the English Town and the Irish Town. This was the main part for history back in the day. And call into, Limer- uh, into uh, St Mary's Adult Education Centre and give us a he- hello. We're in the middle of the hearts of uh, history down here in St Mary's. King John was the brother of Richard Lionheart, associated with legends such as Robin Hood and the Knights of the Round Table. I don't know whether they really... Robin Hood existed, but I'm not too sure that the Knights of the Round Table exist, but maybe I could be wrong. John Lord of Ireland, though not as popular as his brother, was a formidable force in battle, and when he set about claiming territory in Ireland, he certainly made his mark in Limerick. Not only was the site used for defensive purposes, King John, as Lord of Ireland, minted his own coins with the royal moneyer, which would have stuck the coins in the castle mint. Before uh, 1200, there were large unearthed defences erected on high ground to defend the river crossing. Between uh, 1200 and uh, 1212, (laughs) King John's castle was planned and built. In the following centuries, it was repaired and extended many times. And it's a fantastic castle up there. Great visitor centre there as well. And... uh, uh, where we are at the moment in uh, St Mary's Adult Education Centre, where actually the walls of Limerick uh, surround our uh, school here at the moment. So why not call in someday if you're passing and say hello to us. Uh, keep an eye out for more uh, podcasts coming up in the future. I'll be interviewing some of the lads working here. Some of the lads originally from St Mary's and uh, further uh, field, given their uh, take on uh, life and how they got back into the education system and uh, what they think of the education centre here and all where we work. It's a fantastic place. And I'll try and get a, 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 an interview with uh, the manager as well. And plus uh, Dave, our uh, head over our education of the place. Keep an eye out for the podcast coming up, or the podcast coming up over the next couple of weeks. And I'll talk to you all later. A small bit of history of St. Mary's and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.